Part 1. The book Security Analysis is continuously getting more attention of readers and still the process of printing is continue due to higher demand for book in the customers. We like the ways that the author mentioned the norms. Because in business the significant factors are principles of the investment and financial disclosure. We understood interest convergence as Benjamin Graham explained it smoothly. Most of the fundamental analyses of investment we have learned after reading the book. The analytic SR income statement, cash flow statement, interpretation of financial statements and margin safety in the book. The book disclosed some cases about the severity that great crash had offered to the investor. In the book, we found some of these chronicled we were not able to disbelieve on some of the opportunities of a day. The prices of common stocks changes and safety of a bond depend on the two main things including the ability of the investor to pay and the second one was a financial strength. The internal value showed privilege issues for the preferred stocks. We found that my concept about the changes in balance was different up to some extent with the author and he named it portfolio diversification. We have learned about asset values, dividends, and earning in the book and learned the method of common stock earnings. In the security analysis, there are three main functions including selective functions, critical functions, and descriptive functions. The indices of the economic Activities were different at some levels for the security. Prices and sales levels as a crucial concept was mentioned. For internal values for the security analysis. The most appealing quote of the book for me was safety does not reside in titles, or forms, or legal rights, but in the values. Behind the security issue. This book security analysis has been continually in print since its first version. Hence, it has never-ending relevance. Benjamin Graham and David Dodd wrote this book in 1934. Ever since then, their investment principles have helped. Many investors, countless investors have made fortunes from these principles. As per Warren Buffett, this book security analysis is his Bible. A lot has changed on Wall Street since then. But, the principle of investing in undervalued firms hasn't. This book takes you to the time when lawmakers were still learning from the Great Depression. The norms of financial disclosure had changed because of the new Securities Act. Most public firms were mines, utilities, or railroads. This is a contrast with the blue chip companies of today. We suggest this book security. Analysis for learners of financial history. Also, for serious investors, this is a great read. An investment in the soundest type of enterprise may be made on unsound and unfavorable terms. Takeaways. Check a firm's soundness before investing in it. Real investments keep your principal safe. Besides, they offer a decent return. Any investment which doesn't is only a speculation. Buy securities that sell below intrinsic value. You'll profit from them. Three main security groups include common stocks, speculative bonds, and preferred stocks, and investment bonds and preferred stocks. Bond safety depends on two things. First is the financial strength of the issuer. Second is their ability to pay. Preferred stocks must pass all safety tests needed of bonds. You may profit from buying some preferred stocks and bonds that aren't investments. It's possible if they're selling at less than the internal value. Privileged issues are safe as preferred stocks. But, they even have the common stock-like upside potential. You can balance the changes in prices of common stock. 
The key is portfolio diversification. Analyze common stocks by earnings, dividends and asset value. Security Analysis Summary What is security analysis? Security analysis helps in finding which securities are good. Investments Real investments will keep the principal safe. They'll also give good returns. Hence, anything which doesn't do this is speculation. There are three functions of security analysis. Descriptive function, this compares different securities. Plus, it smartly outlines facts. 1. Selective function, it helps judge if an investor must sell, buy, or hold a security. 2. 3. Critical function, this observes management, company policies, and structure regularly. Market analysis is different than securities analysis. It tries to predict the prices of individual securities or the performance of the market in general. It doesn't consider the core facts of different firms. Technical analysis is a form of market analysis. Under this, future values are predicted by seeing old market values. Another type of checks indices of economic activity external to the market. These activities influence security prices to some level. None of these market analyses have proven effective. Both mainly promote speculation. Internal value is a crucial concept in security analysis. But it's also a vague concept. It's a value justified by facts. These include earnings, assets, dividends, etc. Such facts are then manipulated artificially. Investors can't measure the exact intrinsic value of a security. This is because there are many variables involved. But, careful analysis can help find if the price quoted by the market is proper. Securities should pass safety tests to be profitable. Investments. Also, they must sell below their internal value.